Welcome back to the third must do if you wanna be a successful leader in your safety program. Again, if you miss any of the previous ones, I highly recommend that you go back after you watch this video and check those out. Also, feel free to share any of these as you see fit. With that being said, the third must do is you must remain hopeful. We live in a world that is already depleting our hope with every CNN or Fox News update that pops up on our devices. In the world of safety, we desperately need hope and we need it more than most departments because we're dealing with living, breathing human beings and their overall quality of life. That's a huge burden and one that should never be taken lightly. So what you need to realize is that whether things are going great or things are the worst you've ever seen them for your organization. You can either choose to remain hopeful or you can choose to be a part of the problem. When people lose hope in certain situations, they lose their ability to control their emotions, which creates an endless barrage of fighting, blaming, and damage to important relationships. They lose their ability to create goals, as well as all the creativity needed to make those goals come to life. And they lose the drive, motivation, and foresight that's absolutely required to keep people safe on a day-to-day -day basis. So instead of focusing on the many things that have happened, whether they are good or bad, I wanna challenge you to focus and talk about the good things you're gonna do. Stay forward focused on hope. And you better believe that when the world feels as though it's crumbling around you, it takes some serious courage to remain hopeful. But you're a leader and that's what leaders do. Actually, it's what you must do. For Summit Safety Group, I'm Jake Wolfenden and I'm hopeful of our future for those men and women who seek, we seek to protect and promote the value of life that surrounds them each day. Stay courageous, stay hopeful, and I'll see you next week.